Have you ever wondered how to make a classic grilled cheese sandwich with a cheese pull like this? Well today I'm going to show you how to make the classic grilled cheese with a few tips on how you can level it up. My favorite bread to use for grilled cheese is sourdough bread, but the classic American grilled cheese is made on white bread. And the cheese typically used on a classic grilled cheese is American cheese. If you've never had an American cheese, think of it as a softer, creamier version of a mild cheddar. But in my sandwiches, I also like to include some aged cheddar for sharpness and some Munster cheese because it's an excellent melting cheese and always leads to beautiful cheese pulls. Oh, and if you don't have thin slices of cheese like I'm using, I would recommend grating the cheese so that it melts better. Now that you have your cheese selected, you might put it on the sandwich, but don't do that. The number one mistake I see people making is not putting a spread on the inside of their sandwich. And the most popular spreads are mayonnaise and butter. Typically, you would just use butter, but I like mayonnaise better, so I'm going to use that. And just a reminder, this is the inside of the bread, not the outside. Now is also a good time to add any spices that you're in the mood for. You can really take these in any direction you want, so don't be shy to experiment. But because we are making just a classic grilled cheese, I'm only going to use salt and pepper on this one. And honestly, I don't think anybody else really does this. I think this is just a me thing, but it does level up your sandwich, so I recommend it. Now you can assemble the sandwich and we have one more decision to make. What sort of oil should we use to toast the outside of the bread? Again, you can really use anything like mayonnaise, olive oil, or butter, but the classic uses butter, so I'm gonna do that in this case. For this sandwich, I'm using one and a half tablespoons of butter. I cut it in half so that we can melt it for each side. Melt the butter in a pan and add your sandwich. The trick to cooking a grilled cheese is to cook it low and slow. This may take 10 to 15 minutes, but you're gonna have to wait for it and trust me, it will be worth it. I also recommend flipping it back and forth a few times once it starts to brown to make sure that you do not burn anything while you're melting the cheese. Once you cut the sandwich, you're separating the cheese and you will not have a cheese pull. Unless you stick a knife in there and you reconnect the cheese. You can also let the sandwich rest for a minute so that the cheese melts back together and gives you a beautiful cheese pull exactly like the one you're watching now. And there you have it. Now you know how to make a classic grilled cheese the Chef Tyler way.